In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to Google Sites. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so let me show you what you need to do. So first go to Google Sites and then head over to the website that you want to add a custom domain to. Once you've done that, go to the settings in the top right hand corner and then go ahead and click on custom domains. And here you'll be given the option to add a custom domain. So we'll click here on start setup and here we need to now enter in our domain. Now to get your domain, go to Hostinger, log into your account, and then head over to the domain section. Here you'll then see all of the domains that you've got registered. I'm gonna use this domain here as an example, Knowledge Base Hub. So I'll copy this domain, we'll then head back into Google Sites, and you can then paste in that domain. Now, what's probably going to happen is, this is going to appear and it's gonna tell you that your domain is not verified. So first what we need to do is actually verify that we own this domain. So click here where it says verify, your ownership and that will open up a new window from here it will then take you to google search console and we want to make sure we're on the domain section make sure that your domain name is correct once more and then continue then we're going to need to add some records to this domain name to show google sites that we own this domain so first what we need to do is add a txt record so sign into hostinger and we need to add a txt record here so go to hostinger find your domain click on manage, then go to the DNS slash name servers. And what we need to do now is add a new DNS record. So we need to add a TXT record. Now you may already have some TXT records on here. I'm just going to delete any existing TXT records because it might not let you add um, more than one record. Now go to manage DNS record. And remember, it says here we need to add a TXT record. So go and change the type here to TXT. For the name, just keep it on at. And then for the TXT value, you just want to copy this from Google Sites and then paste it in here and then click add record. So you can see that record has been successfully added. Now, if we go back, we can now click verify and it should now verify that we own this domain. There you can see ownership verified. We can now click done. Now you've done that, you wanna go back to Google Sites because Google Search Console would have opened in a new window. So just go back to Google Sites in the other tab and just cancel out of this, go back and then do it again. So just go back, type in your domain again. In my case, I'm just gonna copy it. And now once you enter it in, it should recognize that you own it. So you can see there's no error message. Now we can go to next. Now it's telling me that my site's already connected to a different site. If I disconnect it, it's going to disconnect from the other side, which is fine. What we now need to do is enter these DNS settings to link the two together. Now this is the last thing we need to do. So we need to create a CNAME entry. The CNAME value or alias needs to be www. And the CNAME destination needs to be this here in bold, including the period at the end. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna go to Hostinger and add a CNAME record. Now, again, I already have a CNAME record going to a different website. So if you have another CNAME record, just go and delete it. Now we need to go and add a new CNAME record. So go to CNAME. For the name here, you want to type www. And then for the target, you want to paste in this that you've just copied from Google Sites. Then click add record. Once you've done that, it will then add that record to your domain. You can now go back to the Google Sites window and now click on done. Now it's then going to connect your domain with Google Sites. And you can see it's now been assigned and it's now being connected. Now this can take up to 48 hours for the two to be connected together and updated on all the servers. It may work straight away, but it probably won't. Uh, let's just try and see. So yeah, you may get this error, but just wait up to 48 hours. If you've done everything the same as me in the video, it will work, uh, just give it time. 